final phase of the pup operation, my flames will storm Castrum Meridinum and suppress what is left of my Imperial garrison. If all goes well, this will allow you to reach the Praetorium un unopposed. Be ready for your encounter with the Ultima Weapon. Yours is the most dangerous mission of all, but the best must bear the heaviest burden. And you're the best we have. There's not another soul in this realm that could see this deed done. Victory belongs to the whole, to the bold. Not the reckless. Bards are wont to sing of heroes who value their life at naught next to honor, love, and liberty. But I tell you now, that which men value at naught, they all they sell cheap. Risk no more than you must, you hear me? And the best you were off. We have work to do, the both of us. See that your preparations are in order. Then report to Sid. He awaits you with the Enterprise at the Krillin and Processing Lamp. May Ralgar grant your strength. Nice! Oh. Oh! Hi, Sid! I believe that he's 30. The Enterprise is at your disposal. Why, thank you. Ultima weapon will almost certainly be housed in depths of confidence. You had to wear that bunny outfit, didn't you? You whore! This is it, my friend. We're here to fight oppression! <laughs> Slay, Orlocks, slay. Ooh, I like this version of the song. God, explosions! Whoa! Let's jump back, but I fucked it up. Fuck it! It's so epic! when they add choir to anything. I just love choir. Oh, look at that, guys. Ah, Sid, my boy. You're late. There is something I always meant to tell you. In the time never seemed right. Concerns your father. What of him? In the winter of his years, Midas came to Abor and parted Medic Meteor. He told that he wanted nothing more than wash his hands of the whole sordid business. But he did not wash his hands of it. He helmed the project until the day it killed him. Come now, Sid. You must know that he did not have the luxury of choice. 
by the time he realized his error, it was too late. Lear had him completely its thrall. Shortly before his transformation, mayhap sensing that something was amiss, your father confided me. Early on his, in your, his career, he realized that while you had the talent for devising our moment, it would never fulfill you. There was a changed man for it, though. Because he did something else. I can't read through it, it's, oh, it's too fast. <laughs> he could not let it show. You ripped open walls in this place just so you could say this to me? I want you at my side, Sid. Take up your father's mantle and become the Empire's lead engineer. It is your role. My father had a change of heart. You said it yourself. Besides, I have long known my destiny, and I assure you, it lies not with the Empire. A pity. And what you, adventurer? Will you not consider making common cause? With your powers joined to mine, we might do much for this realm. Together, we could bring order to Orzia and usher in the lasting peace. No. And I can expect no better answer than this. So be it. It was your strength that made me proffer my hand in, in friendship, and it is your strength that makes me proffer now my blade. Save as an ally. I will finish you off. Oh shit! Yo, the titties though! Guess massive Oonga Boongas! Run, save, or stay, makes no matter. You cannot escape. Why are you die so thick? Guys, wait, damn it! Why is he so thick? Look at him. Thick ass boy. This isn't fate. I don't know what it is. Go on. Stop yourself. What? What? How do I? What am I supposed to be pressing on to get it? What am I not pressing on? Oh. Head is composed of special alloy, extremely tough. Ordinary fire won't leave a mark, I'm afraid. You need to divert all power from the magic cannon, as I did. The armor core is like expired from the strain. There's no help for it. 
the listen well the control engage auxiliary fire away don't mind the warning light Firing my laser! Oh no, my girly! No! She dead! They're natural at this. All right, the way's clear, but it's just you and your own two feet now. Be careful, my baby. <laughs> I can't with Orlex on the left. You have been living a fine mess in your wake adventure. Is someone there? Garland, the old friend. How it warms the heart to hear your voice again after all these years. Nero? Is that you? You sound well. Would we'll see the Savage Land again today. Yes. The highest ranking tribune of the Vordine. It was you all along. Tell me, Garland, how long do you intend to keep all the glory to yourself? Ah, uh, what? You've lost me. Don't play the fool for me. Ever since the Academy, I have been condemned to live in your shadow. By all objective measure, I was the more talented of the two of us. Yet that fact counted for naught beside, beside your privileged birth. You were admired as a young prodigy, simply because of your father. When you defected, I felt sure my star would shine. But by, but by disappearing, you acquired the statues of the legends. Your pure genius gaining credits barely by dint of your absence. Instead of cursing you for a traitor, the people actually came to think of you more fondly. I, meanwhile, have ever been made to feel second-rate. I, who have continued to serve our nation faithfully. Whenever I fail to excel, why it is only to be expected. Yet when I exceed all reasonable expectations, people proclaim that I walk the footsteps of the greater Sid, non-blood Garlon. Nero, I don't know what to say. Matters not a weight of what I achieve. Your existence has rendered me worthless. Even Lord von Bolzer sighed to offer you a place at his side, and this is spite of your betrayal. Did he extend any such offer to me? The man who has remained loyal to him for all these years? No. Long have I endured this injustice, but no more. Lord von Bolzer is in the midst of activating the fully powered Ultima. It is my magnum opus, the creation that will win me the recognition I am due. Nero, what are you? Ever since I first set foot in the benighted land, I have watched you, every move you made. You have felled Akons, a feat made possible by the Echo. Peculiar power which shields you from their corrupting influence. It is a little wonder. As have I, if truth be told, it is my desire to harness your power for use in the Ultima weapon. Ooh. Jace, is that you? Should I succeed, Lord von Balzel will surely take notice. Beside this, Garland's achievements will be as a child's play. Come, adventurer, and yield to me the secrets of your power. I have to achieve 69! That's all that matters! No! <laughs> uh... Oh, fuck.
can do it. I can achieve 69. I'm gonna do it. Please. This changes nothing. <laughs> the Ultima weapon is activated and it brims with the power of Akons. Are you alright? Or like send them back, I can't with you. <laughs> In the instant prior to the blackout, the instrument detected a massive power surge. Gaius is certain to be there. We have no time to waste. Word arrived from the Alliance a short while ago. It seems the order of the Twin Adder has completed the blockade in Custom Sentry. What hands they can spare are the hissing this way, even as we speak. And likewise for the Maelstrom. I should <laughs> ah, I should warn you the chamber which houses the target but even if we lose contact you must go on just don't do anything or won't something beautiful absolutely beautiful control panel. It'll be somewhere nearby. Take the lift down, and you should find yourself in the chamber of the Ultima Weapon. Oh my god! Keep your eyes peeled. Dyers could be waiting for you down there. Oh, uh, don't even think about dying. You're too bloody useful. <sighs> the interference is getting worse. I don't think the connection will last much. Oh. There he is! Tell me. For whom do you fight? Myself. <laughs> How very glib. And do you believe in Eorzea? I believe in the gays. Eorzea's unity is forged of falsehoods. Its city-states are built on deceit. And its faith is an instrument of deception. No, that's just Russia propaganda. It is not but a cobweb of lies. No. To believe in Eorzea is to believe Nothing. In Eorzea, the beast tribes often summon gods to fight. Can you stop men explaining me what Eorzea is, sir? Respond in kind, which is strange, is it not? No, it's not. You're just homophobic. Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that served? So well in Cartano and call them down. Maybe I will, bitch. They will answer. So long as you lavish them with crystals and gorge them on ether. Your gods are no different from those of the beasts, icons, everyone. Except for this. And you will see how Eorzea's faith is bleeding the land dry. <laughs> Nor is this unknown to your masters, which prompts the question, why do they cling to these false deities? What drives even men of learning, even the great Louis Swan, to grovel at their feet? Ligma! The answer? Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise! 
Okay. For the world of man to be I'll take my guy. Must own the world. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is never the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Knowing oh. this, when a single path is open to the infinite ruler, that of false worship, a path which leads to innovation and death. Only a man of power can rightly steer the course of civilization. And in this land of creeping mendacity, that one truth will prove its salvation. Come. Champion Eorzea, face me. Your defeat shall serve as proof of my readiness to rule. It is only right that I should take your realm, but none among you has the power to stop me. Okay, Putin, calm down.
is most impressive. Such power befits a ruler. Yet, you lack the resolve to put it to proper use. A waste. Don't care, didn't ask. Plus, your G spot is in your ass. made the, the run special. <laughs> now what's next? We killed the bad guys, right? Ooh. He's so big. <laughs> oh lord. Don't worry. If I took Johnny, I can take that. <laughs> Allow me then, hero, to do that which you will not. Oh, really? <gasps> Don't worry, I'll kill Kha'Zix. Porta de Kumana. Bear witness to the true power of the Ultima Weapon. That was the commentary. Oh, that's a big boy. Piss it off. I'm not gonna die here. Oh my god. Uh, oh! Ow! Oh, fuck. Oh shit! Oh, Halen! Ah! Crystal is helping us! Oh my god, we're gonna get another 69, you guys. Are we ready? Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Why does my 
My by chaos. <laughs> La Brea. Motherfucker! Your foe acts under the protection of the crystal she bears. So, this is what empowers her. No, it's just my by chaos. Beyond mortal limits. If you are to prevail, the hammer of darkness must needs be brought to bear upon the shield of light. And so it shall, for the ultimate weapon is host to a power of which you are as yet ignorant. Speak plainly, Asian. The heart of Sabik. It is the weapon's core. An enigma whose surface even the vaunted scholars of ancient Alec fail to scratch. The magic within has lain dormant for eons. Of what magic do you speak? A spell without parallel. Ultima. Sought the life force of the primals for no other reason but to quicken the core. For the true power of the ultimate weapon lies within its now beating heart. Laha Brea, what have you done? Uh -oh. No more than was necessary for my god to be reborn. Uh oh. Damn you, The hour is at hand. Behold, but a sliver of my god's power. Oh, fuck. And from the deepest pit of the seven hells to the very pinnacle of the heavens. The world shall tremble! Unleash Ultima! Oh fuck, bro. That's not good. Just nuked his entire area? Oh fuck. Wow, I love what you did with the place. <laughs> Such when you're the only one who just laughs at your own joke. <laughs> my intention. Oh, Hydalin, it seems the task of keeping your champion alive has exhausted what strength you had left. Ooh. Van Belsar. Your enemy's shield is broken. The rest I leave to you. We will speak later, Asian. But first, I must deal with you. The question of who is mightier remains. Come! Adventurer, Cap let us find the answer together. You can hear the choir singing. You know the prepping drops are really awesome. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Waiting 
for the music to drop. I'm waiting for the orchestra.
Is there a second phase? No! No, no, no! <laughs> You've been ejected. Yas, queen! Me. The subjects of a weak ruler must needs look to a higher power for providence. And their dependence comes at a cost to the realm. The misguided elevate the frail, and the frail lead the people astray. Unless a man of power rests control, the cycle will never be broken. You, you of all people must see the truth in this. You who have the strength to rule. Can't be bothered, bro. Oh, fuck. Ooh! That was a wild of explosion. Such devastation. Next to the body. Oh my god, the disrespect! <laughs> you guys, let's just all sit. <laughs> Just girl things, you know? Wait, can I sit on him, though? <laughs> Hot girl summer, guys! <laughs> Say such devastation! <laughs>